expected. So we have this diagram called the von Neumann architecture. Von Neumann. Architect. I don't know how to spell architecture. Good thing I'm online and I can spell architecture on Google before I spell it to you. Arc. Eh. I'm bad at spelling. Sorry, guys. Arc. Eh. Eh. I, wow. Arc. Did I drop? I hope I didn't. I hope. This will be fixed next time if I did drop. Um, arc -i -ec -er. Well, I was on the right path. Nice. Nice. Okay. So basically, in this architecture, you have a computer. We'll call this your computer right here, this big square. In your computer, you have things such as a CPU. And you have memory, which is attached to your CPU. You also have input devices that goes into your, into your computer. And you have output devices that output things from your computer. So, you have your memory, which is tied directly to your CPU. Your memory is things like RAM, or isn't things like RAM, it is RAM. You also have in this architecture, I guess I didn't draw this big enough, one second. You also have, whoopsies. You also have disk which feeds into, RAM, into your memory. And that's going to be your hard drive. Your input devices are going to be things like a keyboard, mouse, microphone, instruments, Etc. Your output devices are going to be things like your monitor, your keyboard. Uh, what else outputs? Like your speakers. Things like that. What we don't we. As computer scientists, what we're worried about is we want to take input. We want to process that input on our CPU. So we want to process the input there. And then once we've processed that input, we want to output that, that processed input. And how do we do that? We do it with programs, programs which live on disk, and when they're going to be ran, they get loaded into memory to be run on your CPU. CPU also has cache, but for the sake of this architecture, architecture, you don't need to worry about that. Um, so what we're going to be mainly focusing on this week is going to be input and output. What we're going to focus on for the rest of the semester is going to be processing that input and output. And that's pretty much all the time we have for today.